Okay, so in this video, we're going to find the greatest common divisors of these two pairs of numbers. And these are two big numbers which would be quite hard to work out without using an algorithm. So we're going to use Euclid's algorithm to find the divisors of these two numbers. 2375, 5421. And again, 5,421, this time with 1,021. And let's see what happens. So Euclid's algorithm, first of all, take the biggest number, 5,421, and that equals something times the smaller number, and then there's going to be a remainder. Now we can see 2,375, is just under half of this. So we know it's going to be two times something. So two times 2,375, or two lots of 375 is 750. So that's 4,750. Taken off this, that's going to be 250 plus 421. So that's 671. Okay. So that's the first, so 5,421 equals 2 times 2,375 plus 671. So that is a true statement. So now what we do, we take the 2, 3, 7, 5, and we make that equal something times the 671. Okay, well 4 times 600 is going to be 2,400. So we can see that this is going to be multiplied by 3 which will then give us a remainder. 3 times 670 is 2010, plus 3 ones, that's 2013. 2013, that's going to give us 362 remainder. Okay, same system again. This time we make 671 the subject, and that's going to be multiplied by 362, something multiplied and then add. Well 362 times 2 is 724 so we know this is going to be 1. So all we have to do now to find the remainder subtract again. So 400 would give us 271 plus 38. 271 plus 38 is 309. Okay continue with the algorithm. 362 equals something times 309 and there's going to be a remainder well we can clearly see it's going to be a one again and this time the remainder is going to be 62 subtract 9 that's 53 again straight into the algorithm so 309 is the subject again and something times the 53 with a remainder okay 53 times 6 would be too many, that would be 315, so it's going to be multiplied by 5. 53 times 5 is 265. Take that off 309, that gives us 44. Okay, so this is still a true statement. We continue with the algorithm. 53 equals something times 44 with a remainder again we're with a one here and then nine remainder okay again bring the 44 out front 44 equals let's bring the arrows in just to keep that going something times nine with a remainder well Four nines are 36, five nines are 45, which would be too many. So that's four nines of 36, eight remainder. Okay, so we're again to the end now. So nine equals something times eight with a remainder. Well, it's going to be ones all the way here. One times eight is eight plus one. Okay, so got a one at the end here with the remainder that means these two numbers here are relatively co-prime so that means their greatest common divisor is just one so that's the outcome for that one okay move on to the next one 5421 this time that's the biggest number 
and that equals something times 1021 plus a remainder. Okay, five is going to be too many because that's going to give us 5,000. Oh no, five, no, five is good. Five times 1,021 <clears throat> gives us 5,105. That gives us 316 left over. Okay, so this is still correct. So now I'll bring the 1021 out front. That equals something multiplied by 316 with a remainder. 316 times 3 is going to be just below that. That will give us 948. So 52 plus 21, that's 79, uh, 73. Okay, let's continue again. 316 equals something times the 73. So 73 times 5, it's going to be too many. So it's going to be a 4. So 4 times 73. 73 times 4 is 292. Take that off there, that's going to give us 24. So again, we're still, this is still a true statement. 73 equals something times 24 with a remainder. 73 times, 73 equals 3 times 24, that's 72, with one remainder. Okay, so here we go again, we've got a 1 at the end, so both of these are relatively co-prime, these two numbers here. So again, the greatest common divisor is just going to be 1. Okay.